Will somebody give the Lord a shout of praise right to you, man? Give the Lord a shout of praise. I said, the Lord, give the Lord a shout of praise. Such an honor to be with you today at Lofty Heights. This is just an extraordinary place. Thank you, Pastor Ted. Thank you so much for being such a blessing. Lady T, I celebrate you. Everly elegant, prim, proper, correct. You guys are too blessed. You're too blessed. Thank you for having me. I feel very much at home here. The world is just amazing. Ah, ah. Time. Hallelujah. Ah. Thank God for church. Good church. Good church. And good pastors. Would you celebrate the grace of God on the angel of this house? I'm talking about your pastor and his first lady. Jam those hands together. Celebrate them. Woo! Ask your neighbor, why did you come to church today? Ask your neighbor now, ask them. If they ain't talking to you, something is wrong. Maybe you didn't brush your teeth. Huh? If your neighbor is not replying, ask your neighbor, why did you? Why are you here today? Next time. What did they tell you? What did they, what was their response? Make sure they give you a response. If they don't, don't leave them alone. They must ask. to give the Lord a shout of praise right to where you are. Transformation we experience, oh God. I have come yeah. to say Put your hands up. Take all the praise. Take all the praise. Yes, yeah, Jesus. Yes, yeah, Jesus. Yeah, Jesus. Yeah, Jesus. Yeah, Jesus. Yeah, Jesus. See some show of hands in this place. Yes, I have come to say thank you. You can wake up like this, everybody. Come on, let's go. I've come to lift up my hands. I have come to lift up, to my, lift hands. up my hands. We wave our hands as an offering today. We've come to say, I have come yeah. to say thank you. Jump, jump.
I have come to give you a shout. Yes, I have come to say thank you, Lord. Am I talking about you this morning? Yeah. yeah. I need to hear you scream in this place, somebody. Say thank you. to the heavens.
Fellowship with Him is your praise and worship of Him. The society is trying to create a godless society for you, but you are going to refuse it. 
He that says there is no God is a fool. He said because they refused to retain God in their minds, he gave them over to a reprobate mind to do whatever it is that comes to them. They just been misbehaving. When you know God and you believe in God, you believe in destiny. Your life is not by chance. You are a product of a, a very intelligent, purposeful creator. There's a plan for your life. You are not a biological accident. Your parents might be You know when they call a child uh, an illegitimate child because the parents are not married. The child cannot be illegitimate. The parents are illegitimate. <laughs> For you to come into the world, there was a plan. Do you know how many sperm cells that were going for that biology student, help me. For the year, yeah? Millions of that you are the one that made it inside. You are a champion from the beginning. Woo! You didn't come out here to figure out what life is all about. Yeah. You are a product of a thoughtful, intelligent being. He is God. He said, before I formed thee in the belly, I, you were existing before. So one of the ways to acknowledge that is praise and worship. When we call him the most high God, the all-knowing God, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah El Shaddai, the one who was in the beginning before the beginning began. In the beginning, God. So he was the one who began the beginning. My God, I am not a product of some cosmic accident or some big bang theory. I refuse to accept that narrative. I believe that somebody created me. He's so intelligent that no str the strands of my hair are coded. Every strand has a code. That is intentional. That is purpose. None of us has the same palm prints. Fingerprints. None of us, even twins, don't have the same fingerprints. My God. And we have the privilege of fellowshipping with this God. Indeed, he's at the center of it all. He's at the center of the center of it all. Your life is not an accident. As no accident is a success. You are not an accident. He's at the center of it all. Just speak in other tongues. Speak in other tongues right where you are. Just speak in other tongues. Speak in other tongues. Oh, Shataka Baradaba. Oh, Shadaka. Oh, Shadaka. At the center of it all, it's you that I see. It's you that I see. The center of it all, sure that I see, sure that I see. There is power when we call your name. Miracles happening. 
Sometimes the English language is limited. What a faithful God. What an awesome God. I mean, look at Pastor Ted's story. How God kept directing his life. Ordering his steps. He met one person, then introduced him to another person, then introduced him to another person. That's why we came here and we have no sense of entitlement for everything that we see. We return the glory to his name. We return the glory to his name. We return the glory to his name. Do you know some people, so many expectations on their lives. They were so smart in secondary school. Even in the university, they were so smart until they ran mad being smart. You see them calculating on the roadside. Somebody tapped with that wisdom. They lost their mind. Tiny sound strange to some of you but I remember very very early going to school without school bus all the children from the ghetto we were a community of ourselves and we trekked to the school no senior supervision most times we had to cross the express road to get to our school. But I was very small. But I remember not to forget. You know what it means to live in face me and fight you? Apartment. If you call it an apartment, it will be overhyped. It's not an apartment. Uh, you're in a community. Mommy, you know that kind of place? You, you understand that kind of building? Face me, I face trouble. <laughs> seven rooms on one side, another seven on the other side, and not 
for one child, one family per room. So this family, and they can born children. Face me and fight you. One man, one woman, no better job. Seven children. It's like having children is the only lesion. Because life is so hard. The only leisure is having, if you know what I mean. Singles, close your ears. Yeah. So you have like seven times seven, 49. 49 human beings. Another one is 49. So 49 plus 49, help me. 98. God will bless you. Yeah, you would think that, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 98 people sharing one toilet, one bathroom, one kitchen. In that kind of place, they still soup. So you would have a cupboard. You have to lock, put it on that lock and. But you know the amazing thing in that kind of community? No pandemic. ordinary cold, you have flu. Because enjoyment is too much. God keeps those people in that place. They know they seek anyhow. Well, they seek anyhow. You enjoy is you and your God. You are, your God is your healer. So strong. Some of us came out from that kind of place. I'm not old though. You know, he doesn't say, ah, you, this guy is uh, very, very old. I'm not old, it's just that. The poverty took time to leave our family. He <laughs> almost crept into my own generation. But for the word of God. Hallelujah. Like Pastor Ted, somebody invited me to church. And I started hearing. You are special. I say, huh? Special of where? God has a plan for your life. I say, ah, God, get rich. Come, consign God. You are rich. I say, rich. This man must not know where I'm coming from. We are not. You are rich. Don't say you are broke. I say, ah, I would be lying. We don't have anything. <laughs> but until God can change your mind, He can change your life. So a programming was happening in church I didn't even know. Before he knew it, my mind began to change. I began to see hope, possibilities. He said, do not be conformed to Regina, but be transformed by the renewing of... Some of you wonder why church every time, church, church, is a programming. Until God can program your mind, He can't change your life. It's, a pro, it, it's called church what? Church program. Hello. Church is a programming. It's a, God has been Pentium something since we didn't know. We are using terminologies that we didn't understand. Come to our program. You think it's about singing alone? He was programming you because until he could change your mind, no oil can do it for you. He needs to get in here. You need to see things the way God sees them. Not the way man sees them. And you know, God sees life from the mountain top. When you see life from the mountain, everything becomes small. Then you are free to lift my head. Free to say amen. Free to.
to freedom come, you cannot lift your hands freely. And somebody is looking at you. You have all these issues. You are still lifting your hand. Because you, you are not seeing the issues. You are seeing his mightiness. You are overwhelmed by his awesomeness. Let me tell you how miracles happen. Miracles happen when the presence of God becomes more real to you than your situation. Finish. The moment that happens, a miracle is inevitable. You cannot worship and worry at the same time. You will choose one. You will choose one. Anybody that truly really knows God, you see them always bubbling. It comes to you by default. Is the the kingdom of God is not the mean that but righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. From that joy, you begin to sing. Something happened to me recently with my youngest son. He's four months old. And this guy, every time I just look at his face and he sees me, he would just smile. That thing used to just minister to my body. Oh my God. As he, I just see him when, he's, when he sees me, he just smiles. I say, hey! Make up your mind to make God smile. You can't, you can't carry a long face and claim to know this God. Your impossibilities, they dematerialize when you see his glory. And worship will help you get there. Because you can't truly really worship him and be worried at the same time. That's why we worship him. So we worship I don't know if you know this one. Oh, by ye. Oh, go, yeah. God bless you, lady. Do you know what it means to be rid of eternal damnation? I don't know if you. You think. See, at most, the, the longest you can live in this world. 150, if you stay 150 self, people will be wondering, are you a man being a vampire? What are you waiting for? There's life after this one. And to know that you have been delivered from that treacherous end is something to shout about. Oh my God. Something more than good. Something more than good. The Spirit of God in the heart of man is something more than gold. Although my parents didn't have anything material to bequeath to me, they handed me over to God. My mother, I remember when I was four and my younger brother was one, she will back my younger brother like this. She will carry me like this. I will be in meetings, women's prayer meeting, like the type pastor is about to have. I see myself in the midst of women, prayer, 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 Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. She would always be in those places. Parents, all the money you are investing, educating your children, in science and all that do well to invest in their spiritual growth do well only that one has reward both here and the life that is to come the life that is to come the life that is to come thank God for the word of God can you give the Lord a shout of praise Woo! on this place? If you're not sure why you must thank him, just think about my life. I just told you some story. Thank God for my life. Just.
think about me standing here today in your presence. Just think about my life and give him thanks. Thank, thank you for my life. And if you can add a shout to it, I know he will love that. Give him a shout of praise in this place. I want us to finish what we started yesterday. Those of you who were not here, we were on a trajectory and we just had to stop because, you know, we are in the... Mm, hallelujah. Now we need to finish it. You understand? Better is the end of the matter than the beginning. Uh -huh. Those of you who are watching online, don't go yet. It's about to get very hot in this place. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Some man, you were beautiful or some yesterday. Fantastic, clubbing. Uh, uh, <laughs> sister, are you sure? <laughs> Listen, young people, this is how you know who to, who to marry. This kind of spiritual things. Um, as, watch how they worship God. Right? If, if God is our first love, your life is settled forever. And they tell you, this is open secret. Quote me anywhere. If God is her first love, guys, if God is her first love, you are settled for life. Because even when she's angry with you, she will honor God and forgive you. Because you yourself, no matter how nice you are, there are days you will misbehave. Ladies, if God is his first love, you are settled for life. Because listen, even when you are out of shape and your belly is all over the place because you have given thanks, you have given birth. <laughs> even when you, you know, your mouth is running faster than a typewriter. He will still love you. Hallelujah. Because the love of God will constrain you. So in these places, thank God for all the checks you have. Let them include passionate fellowship with God. So you see that sister that as praise is going on, she's doing like this. That's not the one. That one is conscious of Mary Kay. That's not the one. You see that one? That with all her miracle and everything just lies prostrate. Oh. You see that one when pastor just comes and says, shall we just worship the Lord? And then, oh my God. That one. That one's good. See that one that texts you about prayer times. Sends you update about services. If our service is going on, she send you leak. You are not in town, but you must be in service. That is the right one. Listen, godliness is profitable. Godly. Pastor is here. We know how we can be annoying sometimes as guys. But a woman that loves the Lord. Now I'm just sitting beside Lady T. And you see the, you can feel the godness. I'm telling, I'm telling you, you can feel godness. To allow pastor to be a pastor of many is a godly woman. Some people, their husband cannot counsel anybody. Who is that? Who is that? Is that a woman? This sister always has problem. Leave her alone. Leave her in God. Tell her to pray. Leave her. <laughs> every time, every time she has problem. Is she not hearing the word? Lady T. Uh, 
be like Lady T, be like her. See, there's nothing more, let me not use that word, more attractive than somebody who loves God. First of all, their head will be correct. They will be calm. They will be nice, kind, right? They will be humble. Because they can think of other people. Listen, all, let me give you the code. Code to a, health, a good relationship is love God. The person that loves God will be humble, will be kind, will be forgiving. Will be, be a Christian to your spouse. Be a Christian, a real Christian. Carnality is the reason why you are fighting. Your flesh is very alive. That's why you are so angry. A dead man has no feeling. When you are sold out to God, your flesh is dead or should be dead or should be dead every day. It is because you are alive, you can feel impulse. Is it me you talk to like that? I give you back. But when you are dead, you forgive in advance. In fact, you can, like Jesus, know that Peter will deny you and say, you go deny me. But see, I don't pray for you. I don't forgive you. And Peter is wondering, what are you saying? I love you. I can't even kill somebody if you allow me. He had seen that this person will miss it. And you forgive in advance. What am I talking relationship? Lord, I know this is for somebody. Yeah? When our relationships are very strong in God, we can easily be a blessing to others. Right? Right. So can we praise God for a successful conference of such? Woo! Woo! I tried, the devil tried to make sure I didn't come here. My flight was canceled. I don't know if they told you, but for the first time in my life, I entered the road for six hours to get here. I was very worried at first. But road trip here and road trip Nigeria is not the same. I, I, I'm telling you, no wonder people are complacent. Enjoyment. See, the guy was carrying me, he was stopping in, in coffee stops to Imagine my driver. Do you need coffee? I said, I don't need anything. Just, I thought he was, he was stopping everywhere. He bought coffee and wraps for me. I said, ah, my God. <laughs> don't let your life die. Go punish that poverty. Poverty is no good. Poverty can affect your Christianity. You will not be praying with anger. Why? As the third and past lady T, you are blessed to. If you know, ah, Pastor Ted can tell you to give now without feeling any He is blessed. Imagine if he was waiting for your offering. The temple would be different. Give to the Lord! <laughs> well, God, don't first sort two of them. In fact, you are looking at their life and say, Chai, man, I want to go punish poverty. So, this is why I was talking about relationship. The three things that will bring favor. The fourth one, the Holy Spirit told me was marriage. For he that findeth a wife, findeth a good thing, and from the Lord. Like me, Pastor, I was doing okay as a single guy. But when I married, my favor was just hitting me everywhere. Everywhere, no sir, no sir, no sir. Everywhere, favor. I said, ah. I didn't know I was suffering. 
until I married. And I saw that. I just went to the American embassy, me and my wife, after marriage. They just gave us our visa. I know if you are here, visa is like, uh-uh. Nigeria, US visa is testimony. Just understand that. Hmm. Straight. My papa, okay, we had our kids in the US. Papa, papa, the first two. Ah, ah, with this boy from Yard. God is faithful. God is faithful. So we're going to praise God now. Those of us who know God is behind our lifting. Those of you whose family pedigree is behind your lifting, you may not understand. But those of us who know, say, now this God. You have my permission and Pastor Ted's permission to scatter this place. All right. I have it. Don't be doing like this in your, ch- in your corner. Scatter this place. Praise him like you lost your mind. If he brought you this far, he's faithful to complete your journey. Can we give him praise right now? By the way, give, put, your, put your hands together for this team, these guys. Solid team, solid, solid. Ah, you are Nigerian girl. You deceived me yesterday. Ah, <laughs> uh, wait. Can we start all over? Are we ready now? So remember, this is a club big moment. Those of you who used to be, eh, bring back the. Uh, I'd not say anything, but you understand. <laughs> Uh, let's go. Hey. Put your hands up, set. to me. to me. Ah, Let me see your hands. One, two, six. Get us up.
Say, it's everybody. Say, we're going higher. Oh, say. Oh, say. Oh, say. Prophesy to your yeah. So we're going to thank. So we're going to thank the Lord for your mercies. Thank the Lord for the people. He said, me. God bless you, God bless you. everybody. Jump, jump. We're going to hurt. Prophesy to 2023 now. Are you ready? Are you ready to prophesy? I can't hear you. Are you ready? Yes. Say after me, there's oil on my hand. I am too anointed to be disappointed. There's increase in my hands. I am too blessed to be stressed. There is speed on my feet. I am faster than my enemies. Everywhere I go, blessings are following me. Only goodness and mercy are permitted to follow me. Everywhere I go, are you ready to prophesy? Spot. As you take a step from where you are sitting, in the realm of the spirit, your life is advancing. You can't say everywhere you go, and you are standing in one place. Who is ready for multiplication in 2023? Here we go. Oil on my head. Everywhere! 
As you go out from up such, this will be your testimony in the name of Jesus. The anointing is on your life and in your life for a reason. To make life easier. The Bible says that the anointing breaks the yoke. Anybody you see solving problem is anointed. Because the anointing breaks the yoke. Hallelujah. So one of the things you begin to see as you have prophesied to yourself. I am too anointed to be disappointed. I am too blessed to be stressed. Those of you singles who are in relationship, that relationship will not give you heart attack. I am too blessed to be stressed. Those of you who left Nigeria and it looks like you left something better and came to nothing. Speed is coming to your feet. If that is you, say that amen like you mean it. The same God in the valley is the same God on the mountain. If you were doing well before, God is always leading us forward. God never leads us backwards. You will eat the good of this land in the name of Jesus. Amen. What took others 10 years to do, you will do in one year. Amen. Speed has come to your feet. Amen. What took others 10 years, you will do in one year. Speed on your feet. You have been believing God for children for six, seven years. At once, you will have triplets in the name of Jesus. The oil is in your hand. The increase is in your hands. And the speed is on your feet. Speaking other tongues right where you are and give him praise.